In Creo Parametric, you can define both properties and options for sheet metal. Let's take a look at doing that. Here I have a sheet metal part opened up in Creo Parametric. First off, we will take a look at the properties. To get to your part properties, you can go to File and then Prepare. And here's Model Properties. This is a command that I use so often that I have customized my Quick Access Toolbar so I can get to it with one click. Since this is a sheet metal part, you'll notice that we have additional choices for sheet metal model properties. And I want you to take a look at the first five in here. Bend allowance, bends, relief, seam, and miter cuts. In order to change any of these, you will click on the blue change hyperlink. But when you click on any one of these five, it'll open up a dialog box where you can get to all of them from one location. Let's take a look at this from top to bottom. First off, bend allowance. If you are not bending your own sheet metal, if you're not manufacturing your own parts, you pretty much don't have to deal with bend allowance and you really shouldn't. You should leave this up to the experts. Figuring out your bend allowances and the develop lengths of your parts really requires knowledge of the materials from your suppliers and also the parts and the bending machines that you are using inside of your factory or your workplace. So again, you can define your bend allowance for your parts, but again, leave it to the experts. Then we have the bend choice and the bend choice allows you to set the default bend properties. For example, for the bend radius, you can choose whether it should be the thickness, twice the thickness, half the thickness, or some custom value. Also, you can change the default bend radius side from the inside to the outside. As I hover over this, you can see that this corresponds to a property in the model, a parameter sheet metal default radius side, and here is the default bend angle. Then we have our relief in here. The default relief is V-notch, but if you wanted to, you could change it to something else. So for example, we have circular, square, rectangular, ob round. I could choose that I want to do rectangular. And again, you've got a drop down list for the thickness. You have a depth that you can change from blind to up to bend or on origin. And again, for the depth, you can also change the length of the depth depending on which of the options that you choose in here. And here we have our bend relief settings. And here the default bend relief is rip relief. But once more, I could say, hey, maybe instead of rip relief, I want to use maybe ob round relief. And then you have the different values you can define for that rectangle with the half circle on the end. Changes the different values in here. So for example, the length of the ob round relief, the thickness, or excuse me, the width, the depth, and the default values for all of that. Then you have your seam properties. Here we have for the gap settings, the gap value by default, half times the thickness. Maybe we can change that to thickness. And the default seam, we can change from open to maybe gap. You can see that we also have blind and overlap. And depending on what you choose in here, you have different values that you can configure, like the width of the blind seam. But let me change this to gap. And you see that we are not able to change the width because it's defined by the type. And the last choice that we have in here is the miter cut. And there you can see the default miter cut settings for the offset from the bend and also the width in here. So you can figure you can configure all these different preferences for this particular part. Let's say that you go through configuring all this and you want to use this over and over again. In order to grab these values quickly and easily, you could choose to export this as a preferences file and then read it back in later. Let's take a look at doing that. Let me go to my computer and I'm gonna store this in a folder. I have a folder with all my different configurations and it's going to save this in a .smd file. Here I'm going to save it into a folder that I will locate all my different preferences files. Then I'll click the OK button 
and it saves it out to the location. Then later on, if you wanted to, you could import the preferences file and there it is in that particular directory. So again, for the different properties and preferences that you have here, these are for this individual part. Maybe you want to configure this in your default start part for sheet metal parts as well. So that's good. Let's click the OK button out of this dialog box. So that's how you can change the sheet metal properties for your model. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.